So we're going to go back to a topic that I really just hinted at way back when we first started creating this spreadsheet. You remember the title, monthly budget, that's sitting up here inside of cell A1? How monthly budget is kind of trickling into the B column there? Or how about credit cards? Credit cards was a little bit wider, its value a little bit wider than the A column, so it tried to get into the B column. And now that I've put something in the B column, I've cut off cards there. So I want to accommodate for the width of my columns or the height of my rows. This is something that we can change, once again, in multiple ways. But ultimately, I want to make sure everything fits appropriately within the column or within the row. And this is another super simple, super quick feature. Take a look. This is going to be how you're going to change the width of your columns and the height of your rows. So I'm not concerned too much about the budget at this point. Uh, I'm going to come back and do some more formatting that, on that here in a moment. But I do want to change the credit card, make that fit. So all you need to do is go up between the two columns, A and B. In this case, I want to increase the width of the A column. Right in between, I got a little vertical line there. And when I move my cursor there, you'll see that my, my cursor changes shape. It's got a double-headed arrow now. And with that, I can left click and drag to change the width of the column. There we go, now it fits credit cards. Let's try this. I wanna do this across all of these columns. Maybe I wanna make the January, February, and March columns wider, just for presentation. Well, I can do it one at a time. I can go between B and C and click and drag, and C and D and click and drag, or, I can grab all three columns, just left click and drag, B, A, and B, C, and D, and then I'll resize one of them, and whatever I do to one will change all of them. Take a look. So I'll go between B and C, left click and drag, we'll make it just a little bit wider, and now all three columns are equal widths and size. Really simple. Here's a neat feature. What if I grab all of them? all the way from A to F. Now, what I like to do is have Excel perform an auto fit. So it will determine the largest value in the column and adjust the column width to that largest value, an auto fit. In this case, if I just double click in between two columns, doesn't matter which two columns because I got them all highlighted, I just double click, it performs an auto fit and now it's to the largest value in the column. You can see that monthly budget is the largest column in A, so it jumped out to that. You can see the other ones got a little bit smaller. Or, once again, I can left click and drag and change them all to be the same width. That's pretty nice. Let's make them a little bit smaller. Let's go back down to credit cards, and that's, that's looking pretty good. Nice, uniform, even widths inside of each of my columns. Now this is a column. Rows are very much the same. Let's say for my headers, I wanna make the headers row higher, maybe change the background color, do something fancy with them. So if I go between four and five, just right in between, again, I get that double-headed arrow, I'll left click and drag, and I can change the height of the row. Once again, really simple. Change it, decrease it, increase it, do multiple at the same time, click and drag multiple rows, resize them, it's the same thing we just saw inside the columns, but now I'm doing it within a row. So modifying your worksheet, accommodating for those values. I wanna point something out. With numbers, if you ever get a column of number values and the column width is too narrow, a lot of times you'll see a bunch of pound symbols or hashtags. Watch this. If I make the F column really too narrow, uh, you know what, that's not a good example because that's a decimal, it's just rounding for me. Let's try the E column here, I'm gonna shrink that one up. So now you can see that some of them turn into pound symbols or hashtags. That just means that the column is too narrow and that's what happens to the numbers by default. So I'm gonna increase the size of that column, let's get those numbers back. Left click and drag just between the two columns and you got your data. Let's get the percentages back in there, there we go. Let's try it out. Open up your monthly budget. Try increasing, decreasing columns. Make sure you can read credit cards or any other values that you have there. Make sure nothing's getting cut off and present, pre making it more presentable, right? 
making sure that that all that data can fit and be readable. Try it out.